Let's continue. Number two, agree with God. Even though your parents don't agree that God has called you, as long as you agree with God, God says that is more than enough. One can chase a thousand. It is better than zero. God and I, we are a majority. It is a journey with God. It is a process with God. As you agree, God will start developing you daily. God is our coach. God will start teaching us how to accomplish his purpose for our lives gradually. God will start revealing some details to you that you never knew about yourself. God will start molding you. For instance, God will do miracles in your life that will blow your mind. It will increase your faith in Him. It will show you how powerful he is. When we are weak, he will show us he is strong. When we are sick, he will show us his healing power. Also, he is teaching us how to develop his fruit of his spirit, how to operate in his love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control in his right way. He will show you his gift and talent for your life. Agreeing with God gives us access to everything God has for us. In private, God will tell me what to write, what to share, how to practice, how to use technology. God will prepare us because we agreed with him. Our parents don't have to know. It is between God and us. It is called Holy Ghost School. When we encounter challenges, our parents see us smiling, laughing, dancing. They don't know. It's no longer us that live, but God that lives in us. God will teach us how to survive and thrive in challenges. When people invite us for their wedding, we will attend in joy because we have an agreement with God's word that our divine time is coming. We understand God's timing. Agreeing with God brings understanding of God's character. Even if we don't understand what God is doing, the fact that He understands, that is more than enough. We don't need to understand everything. Sometimes, God will tell us to do things that does not make sense. That's okay. If it makes sense to God, we are good. <laughs> God told Noah to build an ark. People were laughing at him. When the flood came, who is laughing now? Hmm. People are laughing at us for waiting on God's spouse. When they see God's spouse, life and direct who is laughing now <laughs> when they see you in a godly marriage and their own ungodly marriage crashed who is laughing now just because people are ahead of us does not mean they are in god's path the bible says the last shall become first how do you define success? Success is being where God wants you to be. 
if you are earning lots of money and you are not where God wants you to be, that is not success. But if you are earning lots of money and you are where God wants you to be, now that is success. You can have all the degrees in the world, but if you are not where God wants you to be, you are not successful. Think about this. Your friend is in an ungodly marriage and you are still single and waiting on God. Who is successful? Hmm. It is you that is successful because you are waiting on God in the right way and you will have a successful marriage. But your friend's ungodly marriage hmm, won't last long because the foundation is not God. When the storm comes, a marriage will be wiped off. But for you, when the storm comes, your marriage will stand because you are standing on the rock that never fails. Jesus is our rock. Jesus is our foundation. Jesus will make our marriage work, no matter the challenges. We need to be very careful. We need to stop envying people that are ungodly. Let them have all the riches in the world, vanity upon vanity. The Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Mark 8, 36. If you are a godly person, whether you are rich or not, you are blessed. You are serving the God of riches. You are not serving others. You are serving the source. Jesus is our source. So let us agree with God. If our parents don't believe, it is God. As long as you believe, God is satisfied. God just wants only our yes and no one else. My dad was telling me, you won't have impact if you don't have a degree. Hmm, I believed him. But God changed my thinking. God said that is wrong. If you have the Holy Spirit, hmm, you can have an impact. Whether you are illiterate or not, as long as you have the Holy Spirit, you will impact the world. I've heard testimonies of God making illiterates speak good English while preaching the gospel. Also, he made someone to speak in another language. God is so powerful. All you need is God. You don't need degree to preach the gospel. If God is saying, get a degree, then get one. If God is saying, don't get a degree, then don't. What is God saying? Don't listen to what people are saying. What is God telling you? That is all that matters. So agree with God today and fulfill your divine destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three. So we talk about the third way in the next video.